This is Adobe Premiere Pro, the number one editing software to this day, until someone decided to try another software called DaVinci Resolve, and another one, and another one. And a year later, a company making 50 times less revenue than Adobe is rising to challenge the number one position in the industry. For the first time ever, Premiere Pro is faced with a problem. They need to reinvent themselves if they want to stay the leaders. That's why every year they are hosting an event called Adobe Max, where they reveal the latest technologies they are working on. You can clap. <laughs> and I don't know if you are like me, but I have been waiting for this all year, because this gives us a glimpse into what the future of editing could look like. I am not going to focus on the software updates, because they did what I like to call the Apple update. It's just the same app, but better. It's exactly like Apple saying, These are the best and most capable iPhones we've ever made. Thanks, Tim. That's useful to know. So let's talk about three video projects that are not released yet. First is Project Fast Fill. This feature allows you to fill a scene with generative AI in video. That's cool because it will be useful, well, all the time. But wait, the real fun is here. Not only you can delete people, but you can also add or modify things thanks to AI. This is crazy because to this day, I think only Runway is proposing this. And let's say it's not incredible yet. In short, it tracks your shot and put generative AI on top of it. But it also automatically adapts to the environment. The light and shape of the object is changing, and that's huge. This technology is working on the biggest problem we have as filmmakers. Our own mistakes, because we are so dumb and now we can be dumb and still make great movies. Thanks to Gabriel, you won't get punished that hard if you forget something in the frame. The image is just half of a video, but fortunately the second project is focused on audio more precisely on dialogue, and it's called Project Dub 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 by Zayu Jin. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Adobe Max. Buenas noches a todos. Bienvenidos a Adobe Max. As you can hear, it's aiming at automatically translating languages from a video to another language. But the good point is that it doesn't use a generic voiceover. It replicates your voice. I personally think this is not the most impressive technology, but it will for sure be one of the most useful. Why? Because English is the most popular language in the world. Most of the best internet tutorials we have access to are English. Having an instant translation will allow literally everyone to understand anything, and this makes everyone start on the same page. A non-English speaking person will have access to the same resources as everyone and this will probably change the world for the better, except for voiceover artists, maybe. You're fired, get out of here. Sorry, now let's talk about the last project, which to my surprise, no one talked about on YouTube, even though I think it's maybe the most interesting. Project Scene Change needs two videos, one to use as the foreground and the other one as the background. The tool is tracking the first shot and scanning the second shot in 3D. The tech job is to put the first shot in the second one with automatic tracking and rotoscoping. Adobe wants to democratize creativity for everyone. And I think they are on the right path with these tools. I guess this also means you can make a video of yourself in any 3D environment because the second shot is basically a 3D scan. Just imagine putting yourself in a 3D environment that already exists like a Minecraft or League of Legends map. And of course, it means you can basically film a movie in your room and make it look like it's Korea or Paris or another room. I hope you enjoyed.